In this video, I'll show you how to create IMB pages so that you're not doing a zillion copies for your students. So first, create a new Google slide. By default, the document will appear horizontally. I always create my IMB files to be vertical. So to do that, you change the page setup. And I like custom and I like 10.5 by 14.2. I have those numbers written on my computer so I don't have to remember them. So now it's been turned vertically. I delete these boxes. And now I go to the content I want to add. So if I want to use this from Somos 2, I would, this is right from the lesson plans, I would copy this slide. You can't copy it from over here. You must copy it from the preview window on the left. I click on the preview window on the left in my new one, and I click paste. Keep the original delete the blank page, and there I go. So now I've pulled it from my lesson plan file, which is very long, I made an individual IMB page. And now next level trick would be this, to make the pages and boxes so that students can't manipulate the page at all, which right now it could be. You can highlight everything, delete, Oops, I skipped one step, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna stay on this, I'm gonna click File, Download, and JPEG, Current Slide. So it's gonna download what I have. You see it's downloaded right there. Now I'm gonna highlight and delete all the content of that slide. Now I'm gonna change the background of the slide. I'm gonna use the image that I just downloaded. There it is, untitled. Done. Last touch, if you wanted, you could put text box in for students. size just how you want it. And then I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. So now I only need students to reply to three things on this page. Now they can easily do that. So then they double click, they respond, but they can't move any of these other pages because that's the background of the page. So that's the easiest way to do it. One final note is that I've, I used to always make IMB pages per lesson. So I might give kids one or two IMB pages like this every day. I've now changed to giving them all the IMB pages for the chapter at once so that it's not taking five minutes out of our day every class to add them, but just simply doing that process one time.